Welcome to Automation Academy TV. Our tutorial for today is Thermocouple versus RTD. RTD or Resistance Temperature Detector is a temperature sensor that works on the principle that materials electrical resistance changes with the changes in temperature. While the thermocouple is based on Seebeck effect principle, when two dissimilar metals are joined, a predictable voltage will be generated that relates to the difference in temperatures between two junctions. A thermocouple is a sensor is used to measure temperature in a number of processes. Thermocouple consists of two wires made from the similar metals, which are combined together at one end, creating a junction. When temperature changes between these wires, it produces voltage as an output, which can be displayed on the multimeter. These voltages are very low in millivolts. The advantage of thermocouple is that they can detect very minor changes in temperature over a very large temperature range. It can also detect any changes in temperatures very quickly. Type K is the most common and general purpose thermocouple. Type K probes are reliable, inexpensive, and has a wide temperature range. Temperature measurement is very important and is needed in every industry. Measurement is always there, whether in the process industry, oil and gas, nuclear power plant, automotive, aircraft, and pharmaceutical. Temperature measurement is always there. The thermocouple-based metals are type E, N, J, K, etc. Known are the most common categories. The material from which these thermocouples are made are inexpensive and commonly available metals such as iron, copper, nickel, etc. Below are the details of each type of base metal thermocouple. Type E thermocouple having a chromel as a positive leg and constant tan as a negative leg. Chromel having a percentage of 10% nickel while constant tan has a 45% nickel. Type J, a thermocouple having iron as their positive leg with constant tan as the negative leg. Type K, thermocouple having chromel as their positive leg and the alumel as their negative leg. Alumel is having 5% nickel and rest as silicon and aluminum. Type N, thermocouple is having nicrocell as its positive leg and a cell as its negative leg. Nicrocell is having 14% nickel and 1.5% chromium and rest is silicon. For color code chart, refer at the chart for your reference. The temperature range in type A in degrees Celsius are 0 to 800 degrees Celsius. In type J, 0 to 750 degrees Celsius. In type K, 0 to 1100 degrees Celsius. In type N, 0 to 1100 degrees Celsius. And type R, 0 to 1600 degrees Celsius. Now, let's proceed to our thermocouple chart. In the left hand column that I marked are the temperatures can be either degrees Celsius or degree Fahrenheit, and it is tens or hundreds. And on the top horizontal number from 0 to 10 are ones for temperatures to be accurate. And on the inside value are thermoelectric voltage and millivolts. Example is 0.67 millivolts. I point the arrow towards 0.955 millivolts from 70 degree Fahrenheit. Then another vertical arrow from number 5. What is the temperature? 70 plus 5 is 75 degree Fahrenheit. And the reading of the voltmeter should be 0.955 millivolts. On this slide, we're going to discuss the standard percent error of thermocouple. For type K, the percent error is 0.75 or 2.2 degrees Celsius. If we are going to look at the conversion table, more or less 35 degrees Fahrenheit. RTD, or resistance temperature detector, is a temperature sensor that works on the principle that materials electrical resistance changes with the changes in temperature. PT100 and 1000 are the most common RTD sensors and this type of resistance temperature application. The most common metal used for precision resistance measurements is platinum because it is good and stable metal, corrosion resistant, and does not oxidize readily. 
and is easily workable into thin wire. Types of RTD construction. In a two-wire configuration, the RTD is connected through two wires connected to either end of the RTD. Two-wire RTD are the lowest accurate RTD measurements and are used when accuracy is not critical of the three configuration. The three-wire RTD are the most common in industrial application. The RTD is connected to a single lead wire on one end and two lead wires on the opposite end, reducing the error in the three-wire measurement. In the four-wire configuration, two lead wires are connected to either end of the RTD. In this configuration, the RTD resistance may be measured with a four-wire resistive measurement with superior accuracy. Four-wire RTDs yield the most accurate measurement but are the most expensive RTD configuration. An RTD resistance can be converted into temperature that gives values of temperatures for any given resistance. The table below shows temperature versus resistance in degrees Celsius. If we are going to look at the yellow arrow 100 degrees C or 100 degrees Celsius and the reading of our multimeter if we are going to calibrate it should be 138.51 ohms. This is the common table for tolerance of PT100 for class A and B. Example, at 100 degrees C the tolerance is 0.8 degrees Celsius or 0.30 ohms. But if you are going to measure 200 degrees C or 200 degrees Celsius, from 0.8 degrees Celsius, it will increase to 1.3 degrees Celsius or 0.48 ohms.